On the surface, I understand the appeal. Designing tools seems like a pretty easy gig. And at uh, $70 a pop, all you gotta do is sell three of these bad boys a day and you've got a $75,000 business. Easy, right? Except for a few small problems. Designing a screwdriver takes an incredibly long time. It's an incredibly competitive market. And no offense, but the customers are a nightmare. They'll want updates on their order. Oh, they'll want it to last a long time. They'll even demand a warranty. All of which is why I am extremely skeptical about the survival of LTTstore.com. Everything about it screams doomed to fail. Between... Everything about it seems doomed to fail. Like the owner being a small tech YouTuber with less than 20 million subscribers. The executive team, including some guy who keeps tweeting at us. And the absolute cherry on top is that the launch went so poorly that the aforementioned small YouTuber only launched with two color options. Of course, I'm fully prepared to put my money where my mouth is and find out if I'm wrong. So we begged Linus. Am I saying that right? Linus? Linus? Is it like Linux? We begged Linus for a whole bunch of screwdrivers. A screwdriver that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. Is it a good deal? Is it well built? Can it run Doom? Just maybe they've got what it takes though. While we unbox the screwdriver, let's talk more about the LTTstore.com's unboxing experience. Right out of the gate, I will say that, actually, this is kind of nice. Simple, elegant, not quite as good as a serialized wooden box with a, not quite as good as a serialized wooden box with a handwritten note, but better than putting a stamp on the handle. And in fairness to them, there's no sign of shipping damage. However, there's no evidence that this particular unit was tested to be functioning correctly and that its performance is what is expected for this unit. With that out of the way, I guess we can take a little bit closer of a look at the screwdriver. Um, no fans, so pretty bad airflow if the workload gets hot. And uh, I don't know how this eight pin connector is meant to connect to the screwdriver's motherboard. I wanna be clear. I'm not approaching this skeptically because it's a YouTuber doing it. I'm approaching it skeptically because I know how easy building a ratcheting screwdriver that balances on one finger and has a comfortable ergonomic grip from the ground up appears to be. And yet, how many little things there are that are very difficult to get right? Cable management, I would give this a B minus, closer to a C. What am I gonna find out when I dig deeper? Let's take a look at, that was a sound. Let's take a look at the added accessories. What, no Molex? No, no, JT, don't cut the camera. I'm demoing one of the best features of the Star Force Systems Voyager Creator Elite. You can use your fingers on these big thumb screws without the need of a screwdriver at all. See that? Love it. Starforcesystems.com. I noticed that it's pretty clearly missing an acrylic panel doodad magizmo, and it might be a bit of a polarizing take, but I for one think that they should have used a penis rocket for their logo. This clearly should have been a cock and balls. Oh, I see it now. Enough faffing about, what is this thing? I do still have some questions about the thermal configuration of this machine, and I would really prefer to see some intake right about here. I, uh, I can't fault the acoustics. Still quite quiet, all things considered. Feels really nice to hold. And ratchets really smoothly. Okay, the initials of a small tech YouTuber merchandise company. I think it's time for us to take a look at what else is in the market and see how you stand up. Starting off our comparison with Counter-Strike 2, we saw the Horizon 2 PC run an average of 420 frames per second, while the LTTstore.com screwdriver barely managed a measly 69 frames per second average. That might seem nice for a $70 product, but bear in mind, this is FPS testing for a Counter-Strike game. Running Diablo 4, we saw pretty consistent performance across the board with one obvious outlier. The LTTstore.com screwdriver is simply not cut out to play this game. Moving on to the upcoming title, Half-Life 3, once again, the LTTstore.com screwdriver disappointed. While the Horizon 2 PC played at 118 FPS average, the screwdriver somehow generated negative three frames per second. We're not entirely sure how it scored so poorly, but this is likely a driver-based issue that Linus and his team should look into. And lastly, in an unreleased game we're not allowed to refer to by name, we finally saw the LTTstore.com screwdriver perform up to par with a gaming PC. 
Unfortunately, due to the secretive nature of game development, we're not allowed to comment on any specifics for the game's performance. All in all, if you're looking to game on a screwdriver, this isn't the one for you. I get it. Not everybody wants to build and design their own screwdriver. So while Lowe's will send you a non-ratcheting screwdriver for roughly the same price, neither of them will come with a light up dick hammer logo RGB panel. I consider that a big downside. LTTstore.com also offers a lifetime limited warranty, where if something breaks, they will have you send it in for repair or replacement, which is pretty impressive that they can actually pull that off in the real world. I still don't know if I can wholeheartedly recommend them, Ah, who am I kidding? I trust you, bro. I'd say if they're still around in six months and you like the YouTuber and LTT, then this screwdriver seems like it might be as good an option as any other on the market. Of course, the best option is always to segue to our sponsor. Woo-wee! If you're looking for a gaming experience bigger than the state of Texas, come on down and see me and I'll take care of you. Me and mine build the best darn PCs you ever did lay eyes on. From real-time ray tracing to hyper-threaded workloads, there ain't nothing our computers can't do. My name is Penn Isaiah Samuel Rocket IV, and I want to sell you your next gaming PC. Our prices are fair, our shipping is fast, and our warranty and support simply cannot be matched. So if you're game to game and want the best there is, head on over to our website. Click that there link in the description and get yours today. I noticed pretty, uh, sorry, I, we're, uh, we're now past the point where I know the lines as well as I used to. Does it have 32 gigabytes of RAM at least? Did my phone just buzz? Yeah, I, well, I put it on airplane mode, which is the really confusing thing. This clearly should have been a dick and balls. I screwed it up. It's cock and balls. I'm sorry. 